G'day lads and lasses and by popular demand I'm back yet again to address another stupid BuzzFeed article that they posted. I did say in the last video, including uh, the next video I'm going to be doing, was suggested by Fairy Dusted Daydream and they said, oh my god, you should do a video on BuzzFeed's 21 photos that prove Australia has a rich culture. But yeah, when I found that article, there wasn't really anything comedic that I could do about it. Now you remember I started off the last video on this channel with a shout out. If you're a channel on YouTube and you're smaller or bigger than me or you want your content to be shared, you're looking for growth, make sure you tell me in the comments below so I can check out your stuff. I've already had a few people asking me to check out their channels and I have working on which one of those to shout out because I can only do one of these per video. So that's a thing. Anyway, without further ado, you'll notice that I have the part of what I'm looking at up on the screen. Anyway, it's up on the screen. We're going to go through it together and answer another super BuzzFeed article. And this one's labeled 29 questions that Australian people need to answer right now. Now, of course, I did browse through this to start off with, but BuzzFeed get fucking wrecked. Let's do this. Number one's not really a question. Why do Australian people have to be so cool? They have amazing accents and always tan. It's not fair. Always tan. I'm going to show you something that might blind you. That does not look tan to you, does it? Compared to my arm, do I have an awesome tan? No. And number two, why do Americans love British accents so much when their accents like that, like the Australian exist, I don't understand. Not really a question. Number three, why do people like Australian accents so much? Us Australians hate it. We sound like a cow dying. Fuck you and fuck your lack of national pride, okay? Number four, using Wi-Fi at 35,000 feet on the way to New York. Why on earth do Australian airlines not have this? It has been available in the USA for five years. Hmm. Well, good question, Tom. Why do people obsess over Australians? Like, I'm Australian and it isn't really that interesting. So you don't like it when people obsess over you? Neither do I, but honestly, if you can't see the interest in your own culture, fucking leave. Number six. Oh, actually, I relate to this question. Why do people think Australians say, throw a shrimp on the barbie? Like, we don't even say shrimp, we say prawns. In Australia, you can buy shrimp, but shrimp are normally found inland. And if you remember from the actual video where that term was coined, where it's got Crocodile Dundee saying, throw another shrimp on the barbie for you, he was actually right next to the ocean. And what lives in the ocean? Not shrimp, prawns. In other words, Crocodile Dundee really fucked it up for us. Number seven, why do people like Australian accents? We literally sound so bogan, it's not funny. Are you calling me a bogan cunt? Number eight, you know when people say, Australians deserve better, why do they? Well, why do you deserve to live? Like, are you gonna ask me another stupid question like that, which has so many answers? Now, I can talk about the multiple things that are great about Australia and the multiple things that are bad about Australia, but let's talk just specifically to online presence. So in terms of internet, Presence, yes, Australians do sort of deserve better because we have a lot of talent to give and people don't seem to recognize talent when they're looking directly at it. No, I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about numerous Australian comedians who have an online presence whom I have been watching for years and who are extremely funny, but yet their channels never go past 500,000 subscribers. And I don't know why because they're a lot funnier than all the other cunts out there. Number nine, why do people call Australians... Wait, this is... Okay, there's another poorly worded question. Why do, Austra why do people call Australia Aussie? Aussie is short for Australian. You don't say, I love British. You say, I love England, JFC. Does anyone know how to fucking answer that? Number 10. My God, Australian hip-hop is so bad. Why do people listen to this and how... Two words for one band. Hilltop Hoods. And you know the number one song that was trending in America? It was called Paper Cuts by Illy, an Australian hip-hop artist. Number 11, why do Australian people call McDonald's Maccas? That's so weird, oh my fucking God. So we shorten the name and you find that weird, you find it discomforting, you find that taking you out of your comfortable place and your safe space, wow. Number 12, why does security always think Australian fans are dangerous? Like, do they think we'll hit them with our thongs or something? I don't know, I don't know what this, the context of this question is, I don't know what it's relatable to. So I'm just gonna skip it. Number 13, why the heck are we still letting Keith Urban be a thing? He's Australian and has highlights. Why does that, what does that have to do with football? I'm not the biggest fan of highlights on 40 year old men, but you said he's Australian and has highlights, as though Australian is the worst thing to be. Number 14, why do people do Australian accents and say g'day mate, like we don't even say that. Robo, roll the montage. G'day lads and lasses. 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 There's your evidence. Number 15. Why do people like Australian accents so much? I hate my accent, it sounds so yuck. 
You realize when you're a native speaker of that country, you don't realize you have an accent until someone tells you you have an accent and then like two weeks later you forget about it. Exactly. So if you're completely aware of your accent, you either moved here from somewhere else or you're really self-conscious. So you should try and fix that. But 16, why do Australian people always complain about their accents? They're amazing. Not really a question, more of a statement. And thank you, Emma. 17, why do Australians call their favorite drink 4X? Because they can't spell beer. <laughs> that's, that's Michael Vaughan's sad fucking attempt at a joke. It's kind of funny, I'll admit. Number 18, I'm sorry, but why do people live in Australia? BBC News, Australian toddler finds deadly snakes in wardrobe. Like, why do people live in the desert? It's just where they find themselves and they just make a life there. Stop asking stupid fucking questions about our country. Number 19, why do Australians buy plastic Christmas trees? The tree will melt in the heat, you idiot. There's so much idiocy in that question that I just, I can't even look at it anymore. Number 20, why do Australians whinge so much? It's an unedifying trait. You're whinging about Australians whinging. Number 21, why do the Australians get a blonde girl with a good body to sing their anthem and we get a troll? Okay, this is probably contextual again. I have no idea. 158 retweets to 8 likes. That doesn't seem very realistic to me, so we're just going to gloss over that one. Number 22, why do Australians often say yeah, no at the start of a statement? It kind of shits me, but... Not much, mostly when I catch myself doing it. It's called sarcasm. Like, you know, someone says, hey, will you give me $200? And you go, yeah, nah. Number 23, why in the hallowed halls of saints do Australian flights not have in-flight internet? What is this, the 80s? I don't know, you're asking the wrong person. Number 24, why do Australians think they can continue to pollute the earth and not have to pay for it? Arrogant and ignorant. Number 25, why do Australian journalists persist in calling small things pint size? Now culture, that denotes a whopping great massive beer. Okay, so in Australia, um, the only beer that you will ever order by the pint is Guinness. You don't order any other beer by the pint. You either order it by a schooner or a jug. Now jugs can be one litre, they can be four litres. Australians drink a lot of beer, so pint sized is small for us. Number 26, why do people assume that Australian pubs will be great? They're in for a nasty surprise. Probably walked into an Australian pub, did something that you're not meant to do in an Australian pub, like turn a glass upside down and got fucking whooped for it. Australian pubs are great. If you're looking to have a conversation with people, you go to the pub with all the oldies, if you're looking to party, you go to a pub with all the young people. And if you're looking to just have a nice relaxing dinner, you go to a restaurant with a bar inside of it, which also counts as a pub. The only disappointing thing about your question is that you chose to go to the wrong bar. Yes, ask an Australian on the street, which is the best bar to go to? They will tell you because of them. The fact of the matter is they've probably been to every single one of them. Number 27, why do Australians get a public holiday on Queen's birthday and the British don't? I don't know, ask your government. Number 28 is just a picture. Number 29, why do Australians have such a problem grasping Twitter? We've got bigger things on our mind than having a social media presence. If you have missed every single thing I've talked about in this video, there are bigger issues here than maintaining a Twitter profile. So, fuck off. All right, lads and lasses, that does it for this BuzzFeed article. Anyway, I also wanted to talk about that I am now quickly approaching 2,500 subscribers and you will notice that in lots of the descriptions of my videos, there's a thing that says milestone while well, I was gonna start live streaming at 2,500. And as that's approaching, I wanna know what times would be convenient to you for me to live stream. Now, keep in mind, I can only do it Sunday night. So what time on Sunday nights would you like me to live stream? Tell me in the comments down below. In the last video, I said the first 10 people to retweet that video would be given a personal roast in this video. And yet again, all you cunts have let me down. Let me down. Because only like five fucking people retweeted it. So get on it this time. The first 10 people to retweet this video will receive a personal roast. It says, first 10 to retweet, get a personal roast and a free sick cunt pass. So Viking, you said retweeted. I have liked that comment. Here's your free sick cunt pass. And here's your roast, okay? So he calls himself the Viking, but you'll notice from his from his profile picture that it's just some guy giving the finger. So I guess he's giving a sitcom pass back to me. The Viking likes to retweet and like all my stuff, which I guess I'm happy with. So I can't really roast him on anything in Queensland while I fuck your mum. He says, kiss my ass. 
I mean, like, that picture really just says it all, and so does his bio, so there's not really anything to roast him on. Sorry, Viking. The next one was, um, 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 okay, oh, okay, I've got three others who retweeted me. We've got Helena, what a legend, 25 followers, has some random dude in a black and white filter smiling at the thing, has no banner, and Helena. Helena, Helena, how do you even say your name? Like, I'm really stuck for these roasts today. Smart work, Helena, because I don't know what you look like. You've got a girl's name, but a boy's face. And we've got Pia. She got all excited once when I replied to one of her tweets. And then she fangirled the fuck out, and she's like, Oh my god, Herm retweeted me. Now, if that's the most exciting thing that happened in your day, me retweeting you, like, wow, you need to get a life, darling. And I know I just roasted myself and you as well, but hey... You're part of the community, so if we're not in this together, what's the fucking point? And then we had Keely, suck my croc. Now Keely, I'm assuming you're a teenager, and but if you still wear crocs, and you're like 17, that's like so not trendy guy, dude, woman. I can't tell from your picture, you look like a wandering Neanderthal. But keep in mind, these are personal roasts, they're not meant to be savage, and they're not meant to be like fucking serious, so... You look like the kind of person who gets triggered when people say bad things. It looks like that was it. Fucking slack at the cunts. I know I'm slack at retweeting people, but like, come on. It's never gonna happen if you don't retweet me. God. Anyway, that's all from me. So thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, yeah. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And definitely, definitely subscribe if you want to be part of the sick country that is the Hermanites. So that is all from me. But I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget the first 10 people to retweet this video. We'll get a personal roast. Now this video has been recording for half an hour. I need a drink of water, preferably of the beer variety. And I will be back with you in the next video, which is probably going to be another BuzzFeed thing, which I was meant to do an announcement about today. But I've recorded, I keep rambling, okay? I know this video was shit. It wasn't like the normal thing. I promise I'm going to get back to the other one because I was looking for something to record today. I had to search up an article and honestly that article wasn't that funny. I felt like that was really shitty and a little bit too serious. So next week we'll be back with something a little more Herman-esque. Just a better new word. See you then. Bye! Told me twice. How do you fit four queers on a bar stool? Put them upside down. Why do Jews have big noses? <laughs> because air is free. What happened when the Jew walked into a wall with a hard horn? He broke his nose. How long does it take a black woman to take a shit? Nine months. How do you get an unpregnant? Dress her up like an altar boy. What do you call 40 Mexicans buried up to the neck in sand? Pick it.